This game has got to be shitting me. Hey guys, what is up? My name is Scott Flock and welcome to Hurt World. We are gonna watch at this beautiful thing. Let's check it out. Alright, so Hurt World just released a new update and this update brings a drill. Now, what can you do with the drill? The drill is a raiding device. It has its own top right now, raiding over here, C4. And this is what you need to make it. You have a base, a drill bit and a motor. And the total of those three will give you the drill, which you can place down. Now, this is... Why did that open? This is a really expensive item to have. If you have a drill, you are basically endgame. I'm going to show you what you need to make this drill. So, over here I made a little schematic on how you can get the cut diamond. Which you need for the drill bit itself. So a really important item. A rough diamond you can only get by blowing up big rocks. No other way. Don't blow up small rocks. Big rocks. And I had the luck to get one in the snow biome after 120 dynamite. Like that is a lot. Here you can see what 5 dynamite cost. And I used 100 of those. 120. So count it out. <laughs> But anyhow, I got one. Now, what do you need to do? You place this in the crafting bench. One rough diamond. You get five diamond dust. You need one diamond dust and ten iron to craft a diamond saw. Then you need the diamond saw. Ten toker acid, which you get by killing the toker, the monkey guys, monkey birds. It's not 100%. They don't give it 100% to you, so... You need to kill a few of those. And then last, you need another rough diamond. So, good luck with that. If you don't play on a time something server, you only get one per rock. And you need a lot. But then, finally, you have the cut diamond. Also, for the drills, a little extra. You need gasoline and crude coolant. Here you have a little view. This is the base. The drill bit. And the drill motor. And this is what you total need to get one full drill. And that is exclusive the blue that you need to get dynamite. Now, I would not be get gamings if I didn't prepare a little test. So here we go again. I love this setup. I love it so much. I used to do this with uh, C4. And now we have something else to play with. Let me warn you. Please. These things are so loud that that's not even funny I am gonna turn down the volume of the game because the game this is so incredibly loud here we have the inventory of the raid drill there are two slots one for the gasoline that you need and one for the coolant and there are a few things you need to pay attention to the temperature the damage output and the RPM now if this the temperature gets too hot this thing will explode and you do not want that because you know it costs a lot i am gonna turn it on and we will see how much gas it uses and how much coolant it uses to drill through the wood wall then the stone wall and last but not least the iron wall so let's check it out Well guys, as you saw, I made it catch on fire. Let's try that again, shall we? Okay, so this is what happens when you drill through a wall. That was really hard to do. Like for real, that was really hard to do. You get these two back, 
but you do not get back your cut diamond. Which is a shame since you need to do all this work to get one cut diamond. This was really hard to do and that this was a wood wall. I needed about 75 gasoline and 30 coolant to get through a wood wall. Okay, I have to redo this test because it took so incredibly, lo uh, incredibly long. But now I noticed this thing is drilling through both. So I think that is why it takes so long. I am going to place one other wall and we see if that actually works. Now I also found out the magic number. For me it is, what is this one again? 68. It will get a nice temperature. Not about to explode and it has a low chance of jamming. Only thing is you need to stay near it. Because whenever this thing jams the temperature will rise and then it immediately starts to burn. So let's see how this one does on one wall. Holy fucking shit, guys. For one wall, one stone wall, you need one full stack of gas plus 60 gas and about 170 coolant. That is one wall of stone. Now imagine, I'm not even going to try it, imagine iron. And you need to stay with it. You need to keep unjamming it. And I really do not think that is worth the trouble. I have one last test. Two drills, one wood wall. How fast is that going to go? I hope it's going to be a little faster than that. Because I, I am not going to waste anything. The only good reason I see to use these things is when you place C4. That cracks the wall already and you finish it with one of the drills. That is the only good reason there is to use these drills. Otherwise, I would highly recommend use your gear for something else. Use all of this for something else, please. I mean, this is not a little bit. I mean, I know you, you can use this, the main parts, but... The thing that costs the diamond, it will just break. So I will see how long this how long this takes and see you guys in a second. And there we go. So I put in 50 gas each. Give back 28, so 14 each goes back which means they both used 36 gas and coolant i'm not too worried about 36 gas and it was pretty fast like honestly it was pretty fast but can we go even far uh, faster and that's a really nice ending of an episode guys i hope you learned something I'm not even going to check how much gas it used. Please, in the comments, leave your opinion about the drills. Are you happy with them? Are you happy with the way that I did this tutorial? Like show you the recipes and what it uh, costs and how it works. I am not going to do the iron one, not even with four, because that will take a sh long time. I, I just know it. So guys, if you liked it, please leave a like, consider subscribing, leave something in the comments. And I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.